Hi guys! We're here to teach you how to play Two-Headed Giant. It's a fun multiplayer format for Magic the Gathering. Because Two-Headed Giant is a two versus two format, your first step to playing is to find a buddy. Buddy? Oh, buddies forever! Yeah! Heck yeah! Yeah! I, uh, I don't have a buddy. Oh, that's alright. If you're going to a Two-Headed Giant event at your local game store, there are probably going to be people looking for partners there. Otherwise, just call up a buddy. Hey, Nate. Looking for a partner for 2HG? <laughs> of course I am! Nice right. convenient right. off-camera friend! Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna go play? Can we play? Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, let's go play. Yeah. 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 Alright, now that we have our teams, we can get to the most important thing, which is coming up with cool team names. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we'll be Team Chandra is my Zumba instructor. Nice! Uh, we'll be a boy called Cyril. Uh, so the first thing that you'll do is both teams will start off with 30 life, which means that both players share that life total. It's two heads for one giant. That's, the, that's where they get the name. Yeah. And then uh, those players are going to share all of the parts and phases of the turn. That means that they're going to untap together, they're going to have the same upkeep, they're both going to draw cards at the same time, then they'll have their main phases together and attack and block at the same time. Let's start. Let's get them. Uh, attack you guys. When a team attacks, the other team will declare their blockers as a team as well. So that means that even if I don't have any creatures when Nate and David attack... I can use my three creatures to block. And that's teamwork. teamwork. Team. However, if a creature gets through, it deals damage to a specific player. Well, that means that I can still have this Dead Bridge Shaman deal three damage to Chris here. And the Heavy Infantry is going to deal three damage to Allison. So his three and my three means our team takes six damage total. And that's math. So, uh, teams can also share their hand information and uh, discuss strategy with one another. So with that... Go. Go. There are some things that players don't share. They don't share cards in hand, or mana, or any resources other than their life total. Additionally, whenever a card says each player or each opponent, that effect affects them independently. So, for example, say I were to cast my good little friend, Rabid Bloodsucker. Ew. Rabid Bloodsucker says, when it enters the battlefield, each player loses two life. In this situation, that would mean that Chris loses two, and Allison loses two, so their team loses four life total, and the same is true for David and I. Other than that, each player starts with seven cards, as normal. Then, when players are deciding their mulligans, each player gets one free mulligan, so their first mulligan leaves them with seven cards, second leaves them with six, then five, and so on. And if either player can't draw a card from their deck, that team loses. It's going to be us. 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 Mm. But yeah, that's how you play two at a giant. Grab some friends, grab some food. Oh, oh! Thanks. And play. I'm uh, definitely attacking the Go for it. It resolves. <laughs>